Oh, boys, what is going on? <laughs> I said this tiny little game, look, I literally got seven kills and four of them were just then. I'll get a different map other than fucking Dust 2. Come on, lads. Mirage. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Dust 2 it is. Nice and fucking original. What's going on guys, Jack Daly here and I apologize in advance my shot is a little bit rusty. I haven't really played too much in the last couple of days. I've sort of had a couple of days off. Uh, just where I've been just too busy with work and other commitments. I swear, so I'll just walk past my door and it shit me up. Just gonna close the door. And continue. Yeah, one of the commitments I've been really busy with is work. As I say, I have been working a lot more recently. Normally, I was only working uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and then every Sunday. And that gave me a really nice opportunity just to record and edit my videos. I went through a nice little streak where I sort of uploaded like three times a week. It was every other day, I believe. If not more, sometimes I was uploading every day. Depends really how many videos I've made and what I've been going on with when I was playing. Some days you get on CS and you hit like enough highlights just for like one video. And then other times it takes a week to get them highlights just because you're having a bad week. But yeah, one of the... Uh, I think he's like the second hand owner of the company I work for. Um, he's asked me to transfer over to a second store. Basically, I am now a supervisor of two different stores. But yeah, with this company, I've been doing all sorts of stuff. I've been obviously working my normal store, which I've been working there for almost two years now. I think at Father's Day, it'll be two years. I've been asked to take over at another store to sort of try and help out with their sales because they're not doing too well. And obviously, my store's doing quite well because I'm a fucking tank. But other than that, at work, I've been doing a lot of the IT side. Uh, we've that, recently been doing like, loads of stuff on the system, and I've been sort of responsible for basically fixing the fuck-ups of our IT guy, because we've only got one main IT guy, and he fucks up quite a lot. So it's sort of my job to sort of fix his errors. And I'm hoping in the next couple of months, I'll be able to actually pick up more of an IT position in the company. Another sort of priority of mine, although it doesn't take up too much time, and it's sort of just another thing that's sort of weighing on my mind, which is driving. Um, I've started recently doing driving lessons. I've done about 22 hours. I'd like to say. So I've had like 11 two hour lessons. And to be fair, that's coming along nicely. Last Friday, I had my theory test, which unfortunately I didn't pass. I did do a lot of revisions, to be honest. So it was sort of my fault that I failed it. I failed the multiple choice by three marks. But the has perception, I absolutely fucking aced it. Passed out of no problem. It was just sort of a couple of sort of awkward questions that came up. I'm not sure if it's the same in like America and elsewhere in Europe, but. I know in the UK there's a lot of like strange questions that sort of come up and they sort of catch people out. But I'm sure if I'd done revision, I'd have been fine. But it'd be nice once I've passed that because it's just one less thing I've got to think about. It's so bad though because I've like, I've got such a nasty spot on my chin. And I'm pretty sure it's down to like stress and just like anxiety sort of thing. So, but one thing I've been told to try with uh, having spots, well, spot, it's not like, I've not, I've not got a pizza face. Don't worry guys, I'm not fucking phased at that. But yeah, I've got this really nasty spot on my chin. And one thing I've been sort of like told I need to do is fucking put toothpaste on it. Apparently it's supposed to like dry out the skin, it's supposed to clear it up overnight and all that. Who was the first person that put toothpaste on their spot and was like, you know what, this is actually a fucking genius. Yes, I did. Like, what sort of crazy human being would sit there and fucking rub a bit of toothpaste into a spot? It just, it's mind-boggling to me. Oh my god, no, I didn't get to vote. I could have got Mirage. I could have got Mirage, please. Oh. oh. The people that wanted dust left anyway. I don't want to play dust anymore. <clears throat> anyway, there's probably a lot of people that are like, ah, but it's scientific proof that toothpaste dries out skin and that's why people tried it because scientists founded this no it's probably some 40 year old virgin man who's sitting there fucking masturbating experiment with toothpaste as lubricant managed to get on some of his fucking pus filled spots on his dick and it cleared it up overnight because he was too fat and lazy to take it off overnight he then went onto his fucking online blog onto tumblr and was like guys i found it a perfect solution to spots that was the most disgusting image in my head what is wrong with me other exciting news, I'm not sure if I've actually spoke about this, but in the end of August, I've actually got a really fucking busy month. 20th and the 21st of August, I'm attending the festival, and then two days later, I've got Logic Concert, because that was pushed back. Uh, that was meant to be sort of 19th of 19th of April, but unfortunately, it actually got pushed back. Uh, so that's been rescheduled to the 23rd of August. Have the festival, come back, have a day off to sort of recover, catch up on sleep, and then I head off to London with Becca. Once again, Becca is coming to the festival as well. I forgot to clarify that. Me and Becca will be going back into London to see Logic, and I am so excited for that. I've wanted to see Logic for so many years, and I know I sound like the generic fanboy. Oh, day one fan! But I literally, I've been listening to him for quite a while. But you might be thinking, Jake, that's not that much going on in August. But then, after that, 25th of August, so come back from Logic, another day, get up 25th of August at like four o'clock in the morning, and we're flying out to Spain. Me and Becca are going out to Spain with my family. Uh, we've actually hosted out a villa for uh, 10 days, and me and Becca are going to go out there for a long weekend. I think we're actually spending four or five days out there, and then we're flying back on our own. So yeah, literally V Festival, day off, Logic, day off, flight to Spain, 
and then come back on the 30th or 31st of August and then on the 2nd of September I'll be going back to Peterborough because it's going to be me and back as one year together and we're not 100% sure what we're going to do for one year. I think the general plan is to like relive our first day uh, so do everything we did on the first time sort of we went out together. So I think that'd be really nice. Yeah, the end of August and start of September is going to be just a crazy fucking time. Literally within like two weeks, I'm going to have like a huge festival, a concert I've been looking forward to for years, a holiday and one year anniversary. So that's going to be absolutely fucking phenomenal. I cannot wait. But whilst we're at sort of Logic, uh, V Festival and Spain, we're going to try and like make some videos together. I've been making a couple of travel videos recently. I made one for the 1975 concert and I made one for Day Out in London, which was supposed to be the Logic one, but we ended up going to the Aquarium because obviously, as I say, Logic put back his tour. Yeah, I'm going to try and make quite a few videos today because I've got a day off. Uh, just before my driving lesson, I'm just literally trying and get as many videos as I can recorded because I'm too socially awkward to record them when I've got people home. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which I'm going to be recording in sort of like five minutes from now. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.